Basic psychology, Basic psychology Memory Explanations for Obedience Stanley Milgram's Obedience Experiment 1963 Milgram's experiment aimed to understand why people obey authority figures even when the action is inhuman or destructive. That's right. He recruited 40 male volunteers from different backgrounds, occupations, and ages to participate in the study. The volunteers were deceived into thinking that the study was about memory and learning, and they were asked to shock the learner every time he answered a question incorrectly. Yes, and the learner was a confederate who received no electric shocks. The experiment aimed to see how far the participants would go in administering shocks. What were the findings of the experiment? Milgram's study found that out of 40 participants, 62% of them went on to give the maximum shock of 450 volts. 100% of the participants went up to at least 300 volts. That's shocking. Did anyone resist the pressure to obey? Yes, 14 out of the 40 participants did manage to resist the pressure to obey and chose not to continue above 300 volts. It's fascinating to see how far people can go when obeying authority figures. Indeed, and Milgram's experiment has significant implications for understanding human behavior and obedience to authority. Situational Variables Affecting Obedience it's fascinating how situational variables can affect obedience rates. Definitely. What is the proximity between the teacher and learner can affect obedience rates? Yes, when the teacher and learner were in the same room, obedience rates declined to 40%. However, when the experimenter gave orders over the telephone, more people were able to resist with only 20% of participants going all the way to 450 volts. That's interesting. What about the impact of location on obedience? Milgram found that obedience rates fell to 47.5% when the study was conducted in a rundown office block in Connecticut. This suggests that the perceived legitimacy of the authority figure was lowered due to the location and its context. Wow, I had no idea. What about the effect of uniforms on obedience rates? Uniforms can impact obedience rates with those wearing them being perceived as having legitimate authority and people more likely to obey their orders. In Milgram's study, the researcher wore a white lab coat, which is believed to have added to his perceived authority. That's fascinating. Do you have any other examples? Bickman found that when a research assistant dressed in a police-styled uniform asked people passing by to loan her money for a parking meter, obedience rates were as high as 72%. This highlights the power of uniforms in obedience. The agentic state The agentic state is when an individual no longer sees themselves as responsible for their own behavior and instead becomes an agent of an authority figure they are obeying. That's right. It was first proposed by Stanley Milgram in his electric shock study. Milgram found that people gradually entered the agentic state as they complied with the smaller shocks before being bound into the agentic state. However, some critics argue that the agentic shift theory fails to explain the gradual and irreversible transition found in many Holocaust perpetrators. That's true. Robert Lifton found that the experience of carrying out acts of evil over a long period of time changed the way in which individuals thought and behaved. Other social scientists believe that Milgram detected some signs of cruelty among his participants, who then used the experimental situation to express their sadistic impulses. Fennies and Arts also conducted studies showing that a reduction in personal control resulted in greater obedience to authority and bystander apathy. Legitimacy of Authority Have you ever thought about the legitimacy of authority figures? Yes, it's an important aspect of social interactions and obedience. Exactly, it's essential for a person to enter the agentic state. Did you know that people are socialized from an early age to accept a hierarchy of power exists within society? Yes, we obey authority figures because we are taught to trust them or because they have the power to punish us. Milgram's shock experiment demonstrated the importance of perceived legitimacy of authority. Obedience was high at 65% when the experiment was conducted at Yale University.
When the setting was altered to an office in downtown New York, obedience dropped to 48%. That's interesting. The change of setting effectively reduced the perceived legitimacy of authority from the experimenter. The legitimacy of authority can be signaled by the use of a uniform. In Bickman's 1974 field experiment, 92% of pedestrians obeyed a stranger's order to give them money for a parking meter when they were dressed as a security guard. This dropped to 49% when the same person was dressed in civilian clothing. Legitimacy can also serve as the basis for inflicting harm on others. Blind obedience to authority figures regardless of how destructive the actions are has been a recurring theme in history. Tarno's study of aviation accidents also provides support for the power of legitimate authority. An excessive dependence on the captain's authority and expertise accounted for 19 out of the 37 accidents investigated by the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board. The Authoritarian Personality the authoritarian personality is a dispositional explanation that suggests obedience is caused by internal characteristics of an individual. The authoritarian personality is characterized by rigid, intolerant, and conservative beliefs and absolute obedience to authority. Who proposed this personality type? Theodore Adorno, Nevitt Sanford, Else Frankel Brunswick and Daniel Levinson proposed the authoritarian personality as an explanation for people with these characteristics. They believed that this personality type was shaped in early childhood by hierarchical and authoritarian parenting styles. How did Adorno test for an authoritarian personality? Adorno created the F-scale questionnaire, which comprised 30 questions assessing nine personality dimensions. He studied over 2,000 American students from mainly white middle-class backgrounds and found that people who were brought up by strict parents who used harsh, physical punishments when they were children were likely to grow up to be very obedient. Are there any criticisms of the authoritarian personality explanation? Yes, Zilmer et al. found that Nazi war criminals scored highly on only three of the personality dimensions of Adorno's F-scale questionnaire suggesting limited support for the authoritarian personality. However, Elms et al. found that participants who were the most obedient in Milgram's obedience study were rated by the F-scale as more authoritarian than participants who resisted, supporting the link between the authoritarian personality type and obedience. 